There's been a lot of speculation as to what type of dragon Spike may be. You know, because he's wingless. He doesn't look quite like the other dragons. Some even speculated that he might even be half pony because of the way he was hatched. Well, here's my theory. Spike will become a Draconicus. Throughout the series, Spike has shown a few abilities that are magical in nature. Granted, these may not be unique to just him and may just be something all dragons can do. Still, at the very least, this tells us that Spike is capable of at least a few magical abilities. For example, sending mail via Dragon Breath. For the longest time, the only one he's ever sent or received mail from was Princess Celestia. In the episode, Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep, however, he was able to send a letter to Princess Luna. Spike's also been shown to breathe fire without accidentally sending anything to any pony. This suggests that Spike has full control over this ability. Therefore, this is his own magical ability and not some other pony's spell placed upon him. Oh, by the way, speaking of magical abilities, do you remember that scene in the Equestria games? Why would I be upset to discover I can light fire with my mind? What? Well, remember Owl's Well That Ends Well? Hmm, I guess Spike really can light fire with his mind. In fact, dragons in general appear to be magical in nature. Consider their ability to grow incredibly large by hoarding things. There's also that time the Dragon Lord was able to summon all of the young dragons in the area by making them glow. That last one might be specific only to the Dragon Lord, though. Well, okay, so Spike has some limited magical abilities, but so do Pegasi and Earth Ponies. There's still no indication that Spike will ever wield the same reality warping magic that Discord's capable of. Perhaps some evidence could be found by considering for a moment what a Draconicus actually is. In Return of Harmony, Charlie described them as This creature is called a Draconicus. He is the head of a pony and a body made up of all sorts of things. To be fair, she might just be paraphrasing and went with a simple description of Draconicus. Still, head of a pony and a body made up of all sorts of things. If that's true, why are they called Draconicus? Draco is the Latin word for dragon, and Ecus is the Latin word for horse. Why would a being made up of all sorts of animals be given a name consisting of only two species? Why dragon and horse specifically? It could have something to do with the chimeric nature of the Chinese dragon. I'm not sure if anyone else has suggested this before, but... What if Spike's actually a Chinese dragon? Well, okay, the main reason why I'm suggesting this is because Chinese dragons tend to be wingless. There's not much else Spike has in common with them. They also have horns, a snake-like body, supernatural powers, and... Wait a minute. Discord bears a heavy resemblance to Chinese dragons, doesn't he? It's not just a superficial resemblance either. Many descriptions about Chinese dragons tend to portray them as chimera-like in that they had features resembling other animals. One source describes them as having the head of a camel while another says they have the head of a crocodile. We do know that some elements of Asian culture do exist in the world of Equestria. Perhaps Discord isn't the only Draconicus around. Maybe all the other Draconici, Draconicus, live in the eastern part of the world. You know, the same place where Mage Meadowbrook was from? I haven't studied eastern unicorns as much as I should have, but I'm pretty sure Meadowbrook only had eight magical items, not nine. The most important aspect about the Chinese dragon, however, is that unlike western dragons, they weren't necessarily seen as evil or dangerous. They were seen as a noble force for good, not unlike Spike. Granted, Discord didn't exactly start out as noble or benevolent. And even after his reformation, he's still far from that. Still, it appears that while Discord may resemble the Chinese dragon physically, Spike seems to resemble them mentally. Going back to the name Draconicus and how it's a combination of dragon and horse, perhaps the most important thing here is the unification of these two races. 
Perhaps in order to become a Draconicus, one must embody characteristics of both. Spike is a dragon raised among ponies. He thinks like a pony. He has the mind of a pony. In other words, he has the head of a pony and the body of a dragon. This dual nature where he belongs to both races but is not entirely either could be enough to qualify him to one day ascend and become a Draconicus. Keep in mind how the ascension of the Alicorn works. An Alicorn is the unification of all three pony races. Perhaps the Draconicus is the unification of the dragon and the pony. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were part pony. Who? Me? I'm not part pony. I'm all dragon. If Spike were to become a Draconicus, I believe it would have something to do with the elements of harmony. Think about it, there's no doubt in my mind that he's connected to the elements. He was born on the day the main six all got their cutie marks. When most of the main six had their cutie marks swapped around, his memories were still intact. When the castle came to be, Spike got his own little throne to sit in. The elements are aware of his existence, and they may have plans for him in the future. The day these plans become clear to him, may be the day he ascends and becomes the Draconicus to represent the unification of all of the races in Equestria. So, what do you think? Could Spike possess magical abilities far beyond that of the average dragon? Could there be a connection between Chinese dragons and Draconicus? Will Spike one day ascend and turn into a Draconicus through the elements of harmony? Leave your comments below and let me know. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Well, okay, so Spike has some limited magical abilities, but so do But so do Pegasi and But so do But so do Pegasi and But so do Pegasi and Earth ponies. But so do Well, okay, so Spike has some limited magical abilities, but so do Pegasi and Earth ponies.